Jane. Lovely. Cheers. Bye. Adult trauma call, eight minutes. Adult trauma call, eight minutes. I've got an unconscious gentleman. He has severe traumatic brain injury. King's College Hospital, London. I think something hurt. One of the busiest A&E departments in the country. They'll be busy right now. Yeah, you know, 15 minutes, 30 yeah. minutes. King's is extreme, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> A place where love, life and death... <laughs> unfold every single day. Fall from a tree is probably absolutely trolleyed. I'm very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep thinking how am I going to cope? All the patients you're about to see were treated in one department <gasps> in just one 24-hour period. Camino. Everyone should walk through an emergency room at least once in their life because it makes you realise what your priorities are. It's not the rush, rush, rush and the money, money, money. It's the people you love and the fact that one minute they might be there and one minute they might be gone. my luck to like get hit by a ball on my head oh we're not very good for injuries in our team are we every year three million of us end up in a and e after accidents that happen during recreational activities mostly at weekends why did i duck well, I think the majority of people work Monday to Friday um, and at the weekends it's time to forget about your stress and enjoy yourself. Unfortunately, I think people enjoy themselves a bit too much sometimes. <laughs> Look at that, we're cooking with gas. This is how it should be. And we've been busy now. Scott has worked at King's for 10 years. I came into nursing reasonably late. I didn't start my training until I was about 22. But, you know, in my career, I've seen absolutely everything. I remember when we used to have just the big whiteboard here and you used to write everything on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Piles. <laughs> Can I have a project to X-ray, please? Carrot in anus. <laughs> Carrot in anus. I had ping pong balls in anus uh, the other day at triage. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit embarrassing. Because I For was who? sat there <laughs> and like you know when you really want to laugh? And yeah. then I was trying to be serious and asking the questions. I couldn't do it, I couldn't do any obs. I was like, I can't do it. Do so that. what was sort of male or female? Male. Right. And they'd been pay playing male. with they had four. And he noticed they only had three, three left. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, how are you more comfortable? Standing. OK. Right, can I get you... I know these gowns are not flattering at all. If I get, we get your top off now, just because it's going to make it a lot quicker when okay. they come to examine you. Hello. Hello, sir. Have how a seat for me, please. I'm fine, thank you. Well, how can I help you? I uh, just got hit in the face of the ball. A hockey ball? Hockey ball. Yeah. Any vomiting? No. No. Okay. So you have it smack in the eye, yeah? Pain here? Yeah. Okay. Anything here? Yeah. Okay, we'll do an X-ray. I don't think there's anything broken. More than likely, you've you've probably torn that little that ligament a little bit. Mm. 
football is the sport responsible for the most casualties in A&E, closely followed by rugby. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. No, it, it hurt at the time, but it's fine now. My teeth feel weird, but that's it. But it's not, yeah, it's fine up there. OK, yeah, that hurts. Yeah. yeah there we go. Clean knee. Why am I washing your knee? You're quite capable of washing your own oh. knee. Wipe it. Thank you. What am I doing? <laughs> it's clean. <laughs> Oh, the rugby players put mud everywhere, look. Mm -hmm. See the mud trail. Oh. He thinks it's poo. He thinks it's poo. Why would you put tissue on him mm -hmm. and then sweep it up? What is he doing? Ah, here he comes. He's going to make another mess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Oh. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Saturday. As evening approaches, sporting injuries make way for another recreational pastime. Before you come on shift, you know it's going to be busy, pretty much. Days can be full of football injuries and nights can be full of drunken injuries. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, alcohol does funny things to people. <laughs> I'd follow your friend. I would. A party has ended prematurely for a group of university students. <laughs> what can you say, yeah? Two have hurt themselves after falling from a bar they were dancing on. Well, things looked like it was a good fancy dress party, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Everything just went peaked on. 18-year-old Fleur has hit her head. And Jessica, also 18, has hit her head and knee. <laughs> you look an old woman. Babe, you look an old woman. Babe, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck happened, Fleur? We were just dancing on the bar, and then what? All I heard was a scream, and everyone... Are you kidding? Yeah. And everyone just looked at the bar and where you two have been was gone. <laughs> and it was funny, but then it was horrible because you didn't get up for like 20 seconds. I mean, you've hurt yourselves, but I thought you'd really hurt yourselves. I thought you'd really hurt yourselves. Oh, God, don't. For a minute, I thought. Please don't. Please don't. I don't want to think about it. So, so, is that what you're saying, think, you know, like? I have, like, babe. Brush your hand. Brush your head back. I just, I got, I got, a okay, stop it first. Rest your head back. Rest your head back. Rest your head back. But then I, I, when I start to feel sick, I feel really drunk, like really drunk. It's because you are really drunk. It's true, babe, it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm making them react because well, I want you to use the toilet and just sleep because you've been knocked out in the head. I'm in a hospital because we're uh, okay. Shush, shush, okay. It's fine. No, 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 you're fine. Just talk about you, okay? You're fine, okay? I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine. Okay, shush. Head, head bound. You're fine. Shush. Shush. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. Sorry. It shouldn't be long. Half an hour, hopefully. Half now. Like your wishful thinking. 
Uh, my name's Colin Sykes Wilkinson, I'm 32 and I work in construction. You've got an air of Robert De Niro about you, mate, I've got to tell you. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Arm. Get it. How come? What happened? A um, little cut on it. Didn't move out of the way quick enough. Uh, I was out with mates having a drink in uh, the area and that, and I was coming home from the petrol station. Two, two people have approached us. So they asked us the time. I said, no, I, I don't know the time. And then they tried to lunge for me phone that I had in my hand. So obviously I've tried to fend one of, them, one of them off. The other one's tried to throw a punch. And, um, well, next minute I knew there was a knife in the air and one of us cut us with a knife. I spy a minor dice at the beginning <laughs> with... M. Um, We're playing I spy my little eye. OK, what are we missing? Um, okay, cool, that's fine then. That's fine. Beginning with what? M. M. Um, she wants to talk to you. Mobile. <laughs> Not many people can say they've had a knife pulled on them. What were you thinking when the knife got pulled out? Well, to be fair, it ain't the first time I've had a knife pulled on us, but yeah, of course you you get scared, you see that coming at you, you know, you don't know what's gonna happen. Your turn. Mister. Who's my turn? Yeah, your turn. Oh, blimey. I've been stabbed about three times. And I've lost count the amount of times someone has actually pulled a knife out on me. It happens so many times where I'm from, so, you know, you tend to get used to it. Do I actually have to say hi, Spy, as well? Someone beginning with, um... J. J. Dumper. <laughs> Babe, this is so hardcore. He bonded. <laughs> Colin? I'm fine, don't worry. Well done, Colin. Good luck. Woo, enjoy Woo! it. Well done, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> what happened today then? Someone tried to mug us and hit us or something. Hit us, hit you with what? Uh, uh, knife, machete, sword, whatever. Okay. When was this? About um, 10 o'clock. Oh, sounds pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not Did you true, get any of those injuries apart from that? A yeah, little scuffle on there, but no, that was it. That's the main one. Well, for me being a kid up to where it is now, it's, it's just got worse and worse and worse and worse. Did you hit your head? Huh? Did you hit your head, sir? No, I hit his head. You hit his head? Yeah, okay. his nose. Okay. So if someone comes in with a broken nose, it was him. Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out, sir. My opinion, they ain't got the bottle to stand up and have a straight in a one on one, so they use knives. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, bring it towards me a little bit. Very metal, isn't it? Yeah, I've mm. seen worse than that. I've seen people get hurt worse than that. I've seen too many things. So that there was that wasn't nothing. Is my fingers supposed to be numb? That's just a look at your fingers. Okay. Give me a hand and squeeze as hard as you can. Okay, is that, is it, you can't squeeze as hard as the pain, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. it's just tight. So relax for me again, can you feel that? It's numb, it's tingling. Okay, yeah, well. it's proper numb. So this is numb here, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. About down here? No, that's all right. Okay, yeah. These two here, it's like pins and needles. Yeah, okay, just bear with me for a sec. Let's get one of my other doctors to have a look at that. Femin, do you mind have a look at the wound for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, it really hurts, but, like, <laughs> I feel so old yeah, right that now. Might work. Oh, I'm so upset because you look so fat. Oh no, you're so you so fat as well. Oh, I feel that. I'm nice. serious from that one, okay? Let's be serious. <laughs> Stop giving him leaflets. It's so bad. What are you doing? Darren has collapsed at a party. His friends, Ian and David, are keeping him company. I'm going for a sick. 
Just go there. I need to go there. Just 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 Jen is one of the most experienced nurses at King's A&E. I'm tired now. Oh. Do you know what I fancy? You've done all kinds of nursing, haven't you? You've been a, you've been a nightclub nurse. Yeah, a <laughs> rave nurse, yeah. I'd walk around the club all the time, making sure people were all right and making sure no one was sleeping. You got doing a dance walk? Having a little bit of dance, yeah. Jen the Dancing Medic, that was my name. <laughs> 46 year old chap, GI bleeding, vomited blood times once a night, smells of alcohol, probably a manner of ice tear, nothing on his bloods. I spent many years, like eight years, I spent at Heaven. It was good. It was good. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, but good. The House of Commons were on the, the Raz last night. We had a few on our money <laughs> come in. Anyway, she came in. She got picked up by a pre-booked cab, which was a Bentley, wherever she had been drinking. Um, the poor driver, she vomited all over his beautiful Bentley and pissed herself all over his Bentley. So I think I've seen pretty much everything. What used to shock me 10 years ago, I've, I've seen it. I've seen things up people's bottoms. I've seen people, you know, come in, you know, both of them locked together having sex. I've seen all sorts of things that, so th things don't particularly sh Sorry. shock me. Locked together having sex? Yeah. What, what do you mean? Well, you, I don't know if you've ever seen the ER episode when a couple come in and they've been shagging and basically, I don't know how quite it happens, but the woman's pelvis kind of, like, locks, so they can't actually become uncoupled. <laughs> we had a little chat and I said, look, just have these fluids, so get yourself sober, and if you still want to talk to someone about how rotten you're feeling about the fact that you can. You, do you can. Yeah. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter who comes in and why they've come in, they still need our, our services and our care and attention. It's going to be OK. Yeah. Honey, yeah. Relax, relax, honey. We're, We're just going to try and roll over on her front. Unfortunately, some nights you can have more drunk people than actually genuinely medically sick people. In my past, I've gone out and enjoyed myself till whatever time in the morning and never needed to go to A&E with any of my friends or myself. I find it a bit unbelievable that people do end up with us. Any kings? Two? With two. Right, yep. A birthday party has gone horribly wrong. Right. The ambulance service are en route with two patients from the same event. Yep, go on then. I think it's going to get a bit busy in here in a, couple, in a wee while. It's going to get busy. Yeah, just so lots warning. of people coming. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Saturday night, yeah. Two hems trauma calls, ten minutes. Two hems trauma calls, ten minutes. No way. Yeah, why? assault at a birthday party. Reports suggest a samurai sword was used in the attack. Ah! We have two from the same incident coming. One a 50-year-old male, head injury, LOC on C, now GCS 15, that's as far as we got. The second one from the same incident is a 20-year-old male who's been stabbed in the neck and the back. The father and son, so I think they're keeping the family together. Good morning, guys. This is 
stab in, the next one's a head injury. Okay. Okay, guys, this is Jamie. He's 22 years old. Approximately 50 minutes ago, he was in a brawl with several people. He's got a small hematoma over the side of his head, a stab wound just below his left ear, two stab wounds over his left scapula, and a stab wound to his left abdomen. Get any idea what he was stabbed with? A policeman said a samurai sword was seen. Saturday night, South London, you, you do see some interesting things, you know? Standard party, but instead of the, uh, the fight with the girlfriend, you end up with loads of people coming in stabbed. Okay, ready, steady, lift. Okay, guys, this is Mo. He's 51 years of age. Found about 50 yards away from his son had been stabbed. Um, witness loss of consciousness for probably 10 minutes, moving all four limbs. Injuries, he's got blood from his mouth, some swelling on the right side of his face, no other injuries identified um, so far. We were celebrating our daughter's 18th. Um, the boys, her brothers, had gone all out and hired really fantastic lighting um, and smoke machines and everything else. It's quite an exciting thing for the family. Um, we had a nice mixture of family and friends. It was a really, really lovely party. Jamie, I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes. Sorry about this, mate. <laughs> There were some boys that said they wanted to come to the party. And um, I said that the party had ended, um, that they hadn't been invited. And one of them, who was very tall, came down in my face and was very menacing and said, don't push me, in quite a, a, a scary way. One of them punched my son in his face. And uh, with that all, hell broke loose. So what other kind of said? Uh, I don't know. The doctors know that. I'll ask him in a couple of minutes, all right? Oh, it there, it. You have a wound there, yeah, just oh. underneath your stomach oh. area. I stabbed four times. I stabbed in my stomach, my back twice, and my neck. I can remember falling to the ground and seeing everything around me disappear. It was really frightening there. Maze is fine. Maze is fine. Kate is fine. Me, Mark, and Ork were all fine. Okay, but what you have to do now is be really strong for me. I thought he would die. That, that is what I thought. Is your tummy is hurting there? Just try to relax. Try to relax. Try to relax. Oh. Jamie, are you in a lot of pain or not really? Just just when we're poking that thing over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Superficial. No. It's disappearing off into the depth there, so. Okay, so. I'm just going to look at the other one as well to see if what's what. Can I, can I. Thanks. Jamie's dad, Morris, is also of concern to staff. He was hit across the head repeatedly in the same attack and is lying in the next bay. Do you remember what exactly happened? Do you remember anything? What's the last thing you can remember? Where were you? Were you in the street? Were you at home? Were you elsewhere? The fact that you prepared to turn, uh, getting turned away from a party into a reason for a knife fight it's terrifying. A chest x-ray for him, a chest and CT scan for him. For us, it's, it's, it's your Saturday night on call and, you know, you've got a few stories to tell afterwards. But the effects on families is, is profound. How do you remember that? How does that go down in family history? It's not really talked about how that small snapshot is affecting people for the rest of their lives. It's quite a deep cut. Hello. Hi, my name's Jameen. I'm one of the other doctors. Two hours ago, Colin was also attacked with a knife. I'm just going to have a real good look, yeah? I just need to see how deep this goes, yeah? I'll be as gentle as I can. Tell me if it gets too much, yeah? 
Doctors think he may have suffered some nerve damage. Now we're just going to go a little deeper. Mm -hmm. Tell me if it gets too much. Tell me if you get any pins and needles anywhere. Just in that baby finger there is the one. You're getting pins and needles in there now? It's, it's been there constantly. OK. I know the numbness has been there. Yeah, that, that, that hurts. Tell me if that pins and needles gets worse. That hurts. So, you've got fascia exposed there. Yeah? Just the surface of your muscle. Right? So, I need to flip the skin back a little. Try and bear with me, yeah? OK. All right. This bit is pretty superficial. This bit extends down below towards the arm. I think you need to speak to plastic. Yeah? I was, I was due to start a job the following day. You know, I work hard for what I get, so, you know? So if I don't get stitched up, will it just heal naturally? No. You get, you will get infected. So what sort of work do you do? Bricklayer. You won't be able to lay brick with that, sir, I'm afraid. No, I'm trying to say. I've got four kids, you know what I'm trying to say. I need to work. <laughs> you can't work with that, mate. I had to work my socks off to um, buy what I buy. Instead of them going out and trying to earn that money the legitimate way, They'll just try and take it the easy way. You do have a legitimate reason to take time off work, so there's no... They can't do any, They can't, you know, they can't fire you for not doing it off work, so you've got... You need, you need, you need surgical help. Oh, OK, crucially. Oh, um, thanks a lot, yeah. Okay. Obviously, I couldn't go into work on a building site with that room there, you know, just the dust and all the infection and all that, so I couldn't actually go to work. How are you doing, Colin? Content, but I will have to wake up. Look, it is as well. It's going to break my heart to take it, but I've got to go. You know, it's, <laughs> life's too short. So you've just got to make the best of it and just crack on with life. Up slowly. Sorry. Uh, All the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Work is right. Why am I the only one in a gown? What the f What happened there? Did I miss a trick? Why am I the only one in a gown? <laughs> what happened? Why am I? Why have I been victimised like this? Like, my mum, when she worked at A&E, she's like, it's awful. Like, she's a qualified doctor. The amount she had to work, like, day and night. It takes so long. No, it's awful. Think. People come in, they've just inflicted it upon themselves. If that were me, I would have no sympathy whatsoever. What happened tonight? <laughs> Catherine, try and answer me. Yeah, spit it out. Spit it out. Catherine is 21 today. She was out with friends when she began to feel unwell and then started to lose consciousness. Okay. Catherine? Catalina? Catherine? Kiki? Catherine? Catherine? Catalina, your doctor. Come on up. Um, Charlotte, Nikki, can you give me a hand here, please? Can you scan the way, please? Catherine, Catherine. Stop um, breathing there for a minute. I wonder what happened there, yeah. She's all right now. Relax, relax, I got you. I don't know, it's, the, their friends are all right. Like, it's just, um, they're querying maybe ecstasy or something, but I don't know, because everyone else is all right. Wake up, wake up, just sit up, come on. Okay, stop worrying your friends. Sit yourself up for me and wake up a little bit. Uh-uh, no. Come on, open your eyes. Yeah, spit it out. Spit it out. Yeah. This is Jen. Yeah, beautiful. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye. Jen is the senior sister on duty. I and Kings. Hello. She's responsible for coordinating mm -hmm. all medical care in the department. You know, all my staff are out in CT and I'm the only one named Risa. Yep, go on. What's the one? Brilliant. OK, thanks. Bye. Oh! 
Yeah, can I have an adult trauma call or any recess, please? Yeah, thanks. Bye. Hems, trauma, five minutes. Hems, trauma, red phone, five minutes. Mm. Mm. Hey, Darren, it's Jen. Is there any free nurses that could give me a hand soon as I'm the only person in recess and I've got another trauma call? <laughs> no. Sure, thanks. Cheers, mate. Bye. <laughs> Just keep breathing. <laughs> Just keep breathing. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Does she, did she say, did she, did she say you took drugs tonight? I don't know. It's a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibility. Yeah, no. Got all over you. This way. Relax. Sorry, she's been asleep quite a long time. That's all right. Three hours after falling off a bar, Jessica's knee and head are about to be assessed. Okay. 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 Take a seat on there. She's fine. It seems like she's really disorientated, but she's just tired. Okay. The longer we keep you awake, the easier it'll be. Okay. Do you want to tell me what's been happening? Yeah. What happened? Um. Uh, well, tonight, um, uh, I think I got very well, very sleepy, and I think I fell asleep. No, no okay. as in with your knee. No, oh. Your knee. Well, I think I got very tired. Shall we tell you what happened? And I think... Okay. No, 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 I know. I'm not, I'm not stupid. No, I know. No, I know. Do you know where you are? Yes, I do. I know I'm in a hospital, in an NHS hospital. I just need to ask you a few questions. They might seem a bit silly, but it's important, especially yeah, if you hit fine. your head. Um, what day is it today? It's Friday. The must be the 21st today. OK. <laughs> today is... I would accept it Saturday or Sunday. I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. all right. But I know it's a, I know it's a second. I know. I, I, I know. I'm sorry. And do you know the name of the Prime Minister? Yes. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's not Tony Blair. It's Jordan Brown. Sorry? <laughs> and now she's leaving on my hand, and there's nothing I can do. Following her arrival two hours ago, Catherine has caused some concern. Catherine. Hey, yeah. Kiki. Wake up for me. Kiki. Kiki. Doctors still don't know why she collapsed. Okay. Catherine, come on, darling. Wake up for me. All right. Turn around for me. Let me have a little look at you, OK? Well, you have to be on your back. Wake up, sweetie. I love the eyelashes, by the way. Come on, sweetheart. Up you come. Come on. Oh, well, there we are. Sorry, it's as we're being forceful with you, and I know it's horrible. She'd sort of said to us that yeah. she'd wanted to go out and maybe take something. Um, right. and she was talking about eating. She talked, i get the coffee away just, um, and she said that she had taken something, but she wasn't alone at all to take anything. Um, yeah. There was no, she didn't have any drugs on her at the house. Right. There's no one in the house that takes yeah. drugs, that has drugs. Yeah. So we don't know where, if she has taken it, that's not, we don't know where I don't she's think she To be honest, she can be given to exaggerate sometimes, and I think that, oh. I, and I've just dismissed it as her exaggerating that she'd taken sure. something, so. Kiki, if you have taken anything tonight, you need to tell the doctor. Okay. If not, we do need to do some blood tests. To be honest, knowing Kiki, that's probably actually your best bet. I think you should do a blood test. We see the extremes. We see the people that have too much of a good time. You know, there's still probably two million others that don't actually go to a &E at all, and that's what you've got to remember, you know. The minority of people that go out end up with us. Kiki, if you did tell you something tonight, you desperately need to tell us. Five minutes. Five minutes. I would just because I said, do you not think you could have gone somewhere else, not being funny? But mm. you know, you know, you've just brought two traumas. All my nurses are in CT. Mm. We're just round the corner. There we go. Is 
It is that time of the morning, isn't it? So, guys, this is an unknown adult male. Approximately one hour ago, was found collapsed in the street, unconscious with a head injury. He was GCS seven with us. He's had an RSI for his decreased GCS. Tank time at 3.52. He's had a total of three milligrams of morphine. An hour and a half after being stabbed at his sister's birthday party, Jamie has returned from his scan to find a much busier resus room. Okay, guys, you happy with his ventilation, John? He hasn't seen his dad since they were both attacked. Thanks. Is the you back from CT yes. with him? Thanks very much. Oh no. <laughs> well, I tried to have a word last time. You need to go down there, mate, please. Yeah, that's my dad. No, well. it's not. That's my dad. It's not. It's another patient. Honestly, he's down in Bay Five. Do you want to go and have a look? Okay. It's another patient, darling, I've just told you. Your, br your brother's in there and your dad's in five, yeah? Can I ask you a quick question? Is it... Yeah. Yes, they have. What? Do you want to see CDE2's so just got one patient in? Yeah. Three. It's standing up on the trolley, peering over into cubicle two. Do you want to sit down now, please? How's he doing? Is that my dad next door? Just no, it's me. not. Your dad. Your dad is in bay five, and I told you you could go and see your dad. No, no, Sit down now. No, you Sit down. Please? Listen, oh, mate, I've got five patients that are really sick in here, no, including your brother that, and yeah. your father, and I've told you, you where your dad the is. the situation I've gone through tonight, yeah? I don't want to be rude right, or come anything here. like that. Put that bottle down. Listen, and don't be peering over no. the top, mate. This smoke's really not very well. I know in the hospital at one point, Jamie had got quite stressed because he wanted to know where his dad was. He was very worried that something worse had happened and people was hiding it, hiding it from them. It's not, and I told him that it's not your dad. Everybody was very, very stressed. So, yeah, it was a difficult night, that one. It was difficult to manage. When you've got a massively busy department, I think you have to show an exterior that you're a little bit hard. Can you blame me? No, no don't you sit down. No, no, I'll take your piss pot. You know, if you don't mind, let's have a bit of privacy. Get back in your cubicle. Yeah. Thank you. It's all looking quite busy suddenly here. <laughs> With so many patients in resus, there are no senior doctors available to the rest of A&E leaving the less seriously ill patients with a wait. <laughs> Got some gloves. Why are you taking them? I'm going to put them on. It goes all right. Are we allowed to do this? Oh, what are we going to do? Take them back. Why have they put us in here on advice? There's so many things to play with. You're doing shit. They're not doing shit. They're trying to hold us. Someone pissed in the seat. Yeah. 
OK, hang on. I'll get back to you. OK. You've got two patients in miners that want to know what's going on, apparently. I've already told everyone down in miners that no one's... No worries, no. I mean, we're down on staff, and I've got five patients now going to be six in here, so I'm not going to spare a member of staff out of majors to go in there. This is ridiculous. There's no point. Like, let's just go. The girls from the fancy dress party are still waiting to be seen. They've been joined by a university friend. Is there any doctor free after seeing anyone else? A People doctor who can literally here. just look at the car and be like, it's not made up, she well, can go home it's, it's and see not, tomorrow morning. It's as simple as that, because she's been seen already mm, by the specific doctor. Been seen she hasn't already. She hasn't been no seen. No, but she hasn't been, she hasn't been uh, seen. She's been, okay. what? She hasn't like, been seen by anyone. It's fine. Seen. Yeah, yeah, the the doctor, no one's seen me. Let's leave. No one has seen her. Yeah, the doctor already started writing you. What, she saying what? She hasn't been written she's been anything. Right. She's yeah. going to see you. Sorry. In what, she like, said she's going to see me in half an hour and I've been sitting there for it, like... Fucking ridiculous. Well, it's up to you. If you cannot wait, I'll just let you sign a, you know... Well, at the end of the day, she it could a, be your fault. It's, 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 it's not about signing a release form or anything like that. What we're concerned is the head injury. That's the thing. So it needs to be seen. But she's quite doctor. evidently not concussed at the but moment, so I don't understand why she's not being seen. The doctor has to... Mm. Is there any other doctors free on at the moment at all? Any doctors at all? Yeah. What you have? What every doctor is have in? Have you seen any doctor here? No, we haven't. There, there. That's Over. what I'm saying. Well, that's Max Fox. It's not. It's not any doctor. So he can't literally look at a cut and be like that. She just needs a tiny bit of glue. So there's no one actually qualified to do this right now. Okay. I mean, I've, I've, I've never had to wait for anything. I think my dad is going to sit behind that dog out exactly, again. Exactly the same thing. I've never had to wait for anything. But you know, you've got to like. Oh, shit. Well, I can bring my dad up. I can bring him up. I think actually we might move these two next to each other, and then everybody's happy, yeah. I told your brother that he was in Bay 5 and peering over with someone who's right. intubated and not. not him. I know, but it's not, you know. Come on. I would never lie to anybody where their dad is, would I? I think we went through something together that night. It happened so quickly and it was so serious. There's just a, a massive reality that, you know, this could be it. This, this, so quickly, in a matter of seconds, you know, two members of our family could have just been taken away. It's difficult because you've been drinking as well to know what the amnesia is due to, if it was due to the alcohol or to the head injury. But we'll come, I'll come clean that up and we'll just glue that. Okay. There's four traumas in a stroke, like all in the last leg. Like, and then they all came in one after the other. Oh, really? It's crazy. Everyone's everywhere. I think everybody deserves to be looked after and loved and cared for. Some of the things that we see, some of the things that we do, that can make you a little bit, you know, what's the world coming to? Why does it have to be like this? You know, I do, I do feel sad sometimes that people aren't always what I would like them to be. Um, but I, I have to, I have to think that it's not, not everybody's like that. You know, there is good and bad in everybody. And then you save someone's life, and it's absolutely amazing. There's no, no better feeling. Catherine, the 21-year-old birthday girl, has had a dramatic change in condition. After three hours in A&E, she's woken up and got dressed. Yeah, she's, she's just sitting down in there. She, she went to the toilet by herself. Um, okay. she, she wants to go home. She doesn't want to stay here any longer. Because they, they need to talk to you just quickly, and they can't, they can't, they can't talk to you out here. Face. I, I've got the moisturiser here. I don't know what's wrong with my face. Depends a lot. 
Get it off. Get it off. No, no, it burns bad. It's going to burn bad. I'm just going to get some toilet paper just two seconds, OK? basically been crushed between a cherry picker and a parked car and he's managed to have his chest and his abdo and his pelvis all kind of crushed in this, this single motion. You'll still find people that think, well, I'm only just nipping up the ladder, so, yeah, I'll hold a cup of tea drilled and something round my neck with one sock on and a flip-flop. You were cleaning the window? Yeah, cracked a glass and went through. Oh, dear. <laughs> what happened here? If you're a carpenter and you've got all your fingers, you're not a good one. <laughs> <laughs> they slip on the flip-flop, they spill the tea that scalds them, the drill goes through the head and they break a leg when they fall. They really think, oh, I shouldn't have really done that, I should have. Thank you.